and where is home? Cherish Watoto Kenya, a former children's home, has continued to impact, empower, and transform vulnerable children. This is their wonderful story. In a quiet little place, there's a home filled with love, a special place where children feel safe and cared for. The teachings, uh, they are just good, they are working well, uh, interact with, with my friends, uh, leading them, it's very good. When I sponsor Sunyana to support, I do keep Oku, come on, I'm Zazi, and I do a two, and I'm Zazi, do Walimoko, Walimania Koku, and when I could treat Kama parents work. Walimoko in some mission, I lay a raka. For years, this home served as a refuge for countless children, providing them with care and a sense of belonging. Uh, we started as a children's home, but today we thank God we've done the transformation. The children were really suffering, they were rescued, but today we have a society that we are equipping. So when, when I came to Cheryl's, we, we did have a school. We just, have, uh, we just had children who were going outside, and uh, the small ones, the very small ones could not reach the public schools because the nearest was Kangware and the other one Jamhuri Primary. That interaction with the learners is what uh, makes me happy and uh, when they come here and they ask questions they don't, uh, they don't know and I'm able to provide that solution. I think that's what is interesting. It was a place where friendships were forged and where dreams were nurtured. Right from where they could not actually get what they needed, they could not acquire basic education. They could not acquire the love. As you can see, um, our school model talks about love, care and excellence. Today our children can experience love, they can children, they experience the care. Interacting with the, these uh, young ones has been my better part of uh, my life. Recognizing the changing landscape, a group of dedicated individuals came together with a vision. They saw the potential in this historic center and believed it could continue to serve the community in a new and meaningful way. When I came to Cherish, as I've said, uh, we did not really have a school. And uh, when we got children and uh, we were like, could we start a school? For sure we were in one hall. Then uh, what came into me was, what of if we have this love? in that uh, each and everyone is loved from the children because the kind of children we were serving were vulnerable and orphaned children. Today, this building is no longer a children's home. Instead, it stands as a beacon of hope and opportunity for the next generation. Uh, in Cherish, we believe in skills and talents, nurturing of the skills and talents. We have very, very many teachers who are skilled, we have very many people who are talented. At the end uh, of each year, we are looking at can we come up with goals for the, the new year before it starts. And so we do a strategic plan that is very, very helpful. And then come, coming into a new year, we have timely objectives. It is a children's learning center, a place where young minds are ignited, where curiosity is fostered, and where dreams take flight. class <laughs> A fully equipped learning center from a functional laboratory, computer class, music room classes, dining hall and dormitories. I'm the patron. Uh, I do take care of these children, most of uh, boys. I'm a matron. I'm taking care of girls. Children will always be trained according to the way you want them to be. If you look at the future of children, you have to train them so that they can become a good citizens in the society. However, this chapter comes with a set of hardships. You don't understand. Alafu maybe you mature. Maybe check if you are 20%, mwende mjitafutie 80%. Maybe unapata nibibumu kupata yo 20%. Amna simu ya kusai chama. 
maybe parents in your goku are is the best thing you are unable to admit more children then there is that backlash they are like you know uh, we uh, we ha we supposed to bring children here and uh, it's supposed to be for free so need feeding because uh, for sure the children we handle have one meal per day and maybe and mostly it is from our place a lot of supplies for the school to go on. We need to pay the teachers. We need also some school supplies. You get a parent who cannot even support a child to have a uniform. Sometimes we just hold, host them in school like that uh, for even the whole term without uniform. So people are coming to school, they are wondering, is this a villager? Is this a student? And, but uh, whenever we get resources, we are able to buy for them uniforms. A beacon of hope that makes everyone's experience a pillar of excellence. Uh, I'm getting to learn new skills in my career, mostly in terms of digital literacy, and also in terms of interacting with the learners. In my heart, I have a fulfillment because most of the learners that have passed through my hand, they have, the, they, they have met the objective I came for, most of the learners exceed expectation. We have different ways of assessing our learners. One of the ways is through observation. So when they go to the field, you can observe how they are doing their activities. If it's about the creative activity, like in creative art drawing, you can also observe what they are doing. So from there, I'm able to help those learners who are weak. I would like to be an MP. I would like to be a journalist. The legacy of the children's home lives on but in a new and exciting chapter. We have also developed partnership with more professionals uh, who come to assess our services. They come and criticize. Uh, they come and comment where possible. So when, when I came in in the year 2005, the school started. And that is when we registered the school un under community-based. Uh, and then we later on uh, had to register it uh, under the Ministry of Education. This once humble structure now serves as a testament to the power of transformation and the enduring spirit of childhood. You can always achieve your dreams if, if you believe in yourself. There is a place that comes and you see this is over. But what I would like to say that it's not the, it's not over. UNC TV empowering you.